Okay, here we go. Okay, 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 okay. So our opponent lost his roger in the previous game and hasn't been able to replace it. So assuming he's gonna let get a lot of inducements. So let's have a look. So all the snot links to gobos block bloodrunner, runner. Strip all clan rat as well. So we can't get anything. And <laughs> two hundred thirty K. Okay, so he's picked up the roger as the um, thingy, and he gets a bribe as well, so I guess he gets his roger anyway. And he wins the toss. And he decides to go first. Okay, so... This will hurt a lot, as it does playing versus
Okay, so it's got kick, so let's put it in this corner. It's not too close to his rubber. And then he's gonna swarm, only one, okay. people here he can still Okay, opens with one stun and no armor break there. And then here comes the roger, I guess. I'm just removing his three third die here, I think. Making it slightly more risky to blitz there. in the goblin instead and he rolls he needs to reroll and he gets him with the gobo so he's gonna use the roger on maybe a blitzer instead normal break that's nice so far and here he goes for the ball And he gets it with your hands. And he decides to blitz over here instead. Here comes the foul. Nope. No break, only plus two. a bit just 
put some pressure. Find another one, of course. So yeah, this is not... If we roll once, this will be a hard mark matchup. We need to get Paus or both Downs and the Snotlings to remove them. And we need to make our dodges to get to give limit his number of hits and fouls. So far we haven't lost anyone, so so far we have been lucky in that regards. up the fur on the other side which is to be expected since these guys are here so now we'll see how he handles this where will he blitz <laughs> oh he gets straight in here with a roger and he powers my strip ball and it's armor break and a ko so one elf down question is now if we can somehow benefit from this by either getting him, making the roger isolated. So he's now going to base up to make sure I can't gang up on this guy. And here's public enemy number one, the got runner. This is the foul, I guess. And another KO. And the ref didn't see me out. This is going downhill really fast now. Um, some options and I think we want to do one day on the guy without block oh okay I'm straight back oh armor break on the blitzer as well but not a removal now we have a pass through here. So now the question is can we get Theory on the ball? I don't think we can. But we can get 1D, right? That's a rush. That's a dodge. So I think the play is. We'll save him. Guess we just stand you up. Mm, 
Nice, dodging from the river. Or do we actually go all in here? And I think we tag the other Skaven as well. So. Because now we have the ball on the pitch. And he's down one Skaven already, luckily. Well, we're down two players, but... And the Rogor decides to kill his own Snotling, I hope. Nice, thank you. And then, let's see how the Blitz goes. Instant pow. And another removal. Dodge on the snotling, but it didn't really matter. So now he gets. And he gets him! <laughs> Block is a fake skill. Please, we've put some pressure on him. The question is, of course, if it's worth it. Just a push on the runner. That's fortunate because he has crap armor. the ball. So, so much for getting the ball on the floor. Okay, he stays there. So we have 2D on him if we want, which I of course think we do. So let's run you around. And that's a decent scatter. Seems like the elf play here, right? But we could, yeah, I think so. We'll go. These are pretty decent here. Nice. Now I think we would like to. Ah, we'll save the reroll. At least the armor holds. Okay, removing the gutter runner was uh, for this drive. It's nice, at least, but he's got dice here. Luckily, he doesn't pound me, and then he has Rogue Blitz into the cage and on the ball here if he wants and he gets him okay and the ball is now in the rogers tackle zone which is bad but at least he only pushes this guy
have some personal bonds. Need to be close. Close to you. Smell your breath and see the dead insects in here. And the little gits are moving everywhere. Pops dodge, but gets where he wants. So I guess we try to hit him and see what happens, right? And we have this guy here and then we can dodge off. So I think we try this first and see what happens. That's the push. We'll see where it goes. Okay, that means we follow. Say something meaningful to all our cabal vision viewers. Yeah. Another KO only. Slightly annoying. So I guess the play is try to hit him here. But before we do that. No, not jump. You stand up. Oh, I moved into the wrong square. Well, I don't think it's gonna matter, is it? I guess it helps there as well for next turn. Let's do this instead. This is more important anyway. And that's a reroll. Nice. Uh, I'll stay put for now. Another KO only. Do we score? Like, we could try to stall. We have... He won't get... Three dice on everyone. Or, like, the roger isn't free. These guys can just dodge off though. I think we score just to get the touchdown. Oh crap. Well, we did get the score at least. Let's hope our guys wake up and his doesn't. Oh, okay, nice. The, uh, the gutter runner is still out and none of mine, so. Not the best of chaos, not the worst of chaos. So he's gonna have a full team. And I won't. So at least he's down to 11 players. And we're at 8, right? Yes. So which means he has 4 of the Snotlings. And not the Gutter Runner, that's the most important part here. Same, we'll kick on the side the roger isn't. Well, that was impressive. Still have time to get back in the match. Mm, not as good a kick. And he gets a free move with his thrower, so at least he needs to try to pick it up. And the weather is still the same. And not the pow here, that's nice. He gets a few more tries. He gets the Lino. And he gets the Blister with the Goblin. 
hand at the number break. And the Ruger hopefully kills another Snotling. Nope, dice. And, ooh, look at this. And the loner doesn't work. So that's nice. That was fun. Risky play, of course, with the... Um... So how far can we get? We try to hit the snotling and try to separate the thrower from the other Skavens. I think that's the play. We have to try to whittle down the little kids, right? Nice. Not an armor break and a snuffling. These guys are looking pretty good here. Question is if we do we tag this with a blitzer and then stand him up, forcing him to throw hits with the scave, and I think we do. Just to make it a bit more like forcing him to tie stuff up. Because this guy had a bad dodge anyway, right? And it's just a push. Like, imagine failing the pick up here. Nope, he's got the ball, and he's rushing, and he's passing, and he fails to catch, and he makes the catch, okay, so the blister has the ball, but he's now out of rerolls, and the Rogue Blitz works, curse blast, one more break, nice. He's running over on this side here with the guy probably. Nice. And it makes the dodge. Which I don't think I really mind because that means I can move my guy as well. So this guy can go here. No diving tackle marking. I mean, he's probably afraid because my blitzer should remove his. Oh, cheeky rush. Yeah, making my me rolling two, two dice or like two pluses to get through. And the. Uh, nice. Okay, so. So we want to get down here with as many people as we can, because he can't score currently. Okay. 
I guess we have to sacrifice him on. Nice. Again, the removals, annoying. Okay, let's see. Like, if he wants to move, he needs to blitz here. The rover doesn't pow, which means I now have potentially to hit the rover next turn. So he needs to get something in scoring range, and the only thing I can see is the Blitzer and these two. Okay, I guess this guy could potentially get in range, but it's like not the ideal scoring pace here. No, he's doing it. Okay, fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Okay, so he's he's a rush from scoring. So he's moving this way. I guess it's is he just dodging and hoping it works? I'm blitzing there. I mean, why not? Yeah. Oh no, that was the snot. And the snot snakes. Okay, so step one, this is a scoring threat, this is the only scoring threat, right? So we would like to stop him from scoring. So with all the rushes these guys can get, so this guy can also get, he's the easiest one. So I think this is the blitz. And we don't follow up, so we don't accidentally catch the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he's nine scoring range. These guys can get to him easily. So we're hitting our way away from the rover. Nice. Okay, 
So it's onto these goblins here. And then we'll see. If I would have had rerolls, I would have moved him probably one step. And I would ha and he snakes again, poor guy. And then maybe probably also hit hit here. But without rerolls. So no rerolls. So can we get three dice on something? So three, four, five. So if these guys go here, Let's see what the dice say. Of course not. <sighs> Crap, 2 nil up here would have been a win. Now it's still hard fought and the gutter runner wakes up. Hopefully my guys finally wake up as well. One at least. So we are down to nine. And they are in two. Let's see how many guys do they have. I can see like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's full team again, but there's still three snotlings. Yeah, a 2 nil there would have been amazing. So he's down a clan rat and three. He killed the diving tackle dude. So we want to preferably score fast, but that's not always an option. Especially not when there's a gutter runner on the field who can run everywhere and has bludge. But the other guys aren't fast. If we could punch through, that'll be fine. But it's not the easiest of things to do, right? So we guess we want to have the blitzers to hit the line. Let's stay away from the line of scrimmage with these guys. Hopefully he won't get the blitz, but you never know, right? It's a high kick. Oh, deep down there. Well, and please go out. No, of course not. Okay, let's see if we can clear this. Boo. Let's stay put. Boo. That's more like it. And this guy will follow. And nope, no armor break. So the blitz is here, I guess. Okay, let's see how far can these bastards go. There. That's safe at least. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one more. If I want to do a handoff, and then they can hit me theoretically. So let's stay here. So 
after like hopefully the blitzers can keep the roger in check they have a slight slightly better chance of fighting back if you just blitzes in here like kamikaze rat and then we'll see if he'll try to go for a quick score or not depending on what happens I get one removal here would have been nice or maybe he can kill one of his own little dudes nice thank you mr. Roger no he's goes straight into the center unfortunately it's a pow but just a stun better than being removed for his nutlings lives which is probably how you, you <laughs> how it should be so if this guy doesn't dodge away I'll punch my way off here oh he does of course sad well I can still hit this guy but then I won't be off the rover I don't know if I can do it. So th three, four, five. So I think we start with this. No. Nope. Oh, we follow. I'll we'll have to try this break on the other side now. This means we only have to be afraid of these guys, right? I think this is worth a reroll. And <laughs> okay, now we've committed. That was maybe stupid. I don't think so. Goblin fails the rush. And we got the running goblin. <laughs> the running goblin is doing the running goblin. And he fails. And another one of those. And then now we got 2D with this guy, right? And he doesn't get me. Last reroll. Oh, that's just super unlucky. Okay, I'm just gonna do. Um, I'll just quit the game and start it again to get rid of the bug. Sunset. Troll 
Okay, now everyone is where they're supposed to be. So the easy way now is to help cause blitz here and there. This guy can get surfed. And then can we protect the ball after that? I mean, I think we can. The question is, is it worth it? I don't think it is. Do we blitz there? Let's just make sure we have some defense if it goes horribly bad. Goblin. Oh, for crying out loud, we roll those snake. Of course we do. Oh, uh, well, yeah, all those rerolls spent cost me dearly here. At least we steer our players up, so he has no easy get to get back there, but he's got the gutter runner here, and that's like theoretically enough. Yeah, that's annoying. Not getting the power, they're both down, and then rolling a one of the dodge. But hey, that's what happens. Here comes the bits. He makes the rush, and he gets him. Crap. Yeah. So now the gutter runner will get the ball, and we're probably screwed. Yep. Perfect scatter for him, and this is now a draw. Feels bad right well, we'll see what happens he's still out of reroll so stuff could go wrong for him as well like being so close to get being 2 nil up makes this really harsh and he has the ball so now and the little guys run to protect him crap okay Oh, he um, gave me a free... Oh, he freed up all my guys here. That's very nice of him. Surprisingly, I didn't power the bludger. Does this? We'll push him there and we'll follow up. And then this guy. Oh, for crying out loud, another one. And a star. Yeah, no, this is not my game here now anymore. I was in the driver's seat and we rolled one 
on the 2 nil score. And now it's all up to him here, because I don't think I can stop him now. Well, so far at least we haven't actually lost anything, so that's nice. And I don't think we lose the game, which also is nice. But the way it's been going, yeah, it feels like it should have been... Oh well. That's what happens when you play Elves and you're all the ones at the wrong time. And he still still had a reroll, so he could. Oh, he's running back here, trying to get to the other side. Now he still hasn't... I need to get his snotlings around to protect him. And, oh, he gets the POW. So the Goblin is free. And he gets the 2D here as well, that was unfortunate. Maybe I shouldn't dodge this guy off. And he makes the, the Blitz here, annoyingly, and he gets the POW. No ones for him when it would have been insanely bad. So now my dude you just have to work here because he can't protect everything currently. Like he still has four turns here, it's annoying. And he makes the rush. Like a one there and I have 2D on the ball kind of easily. Dodge, but he got out, so it doesn't matter. And all the annoying tags forcing me to roll two pluses, and he makes all of them. Okay. So that's the best two plus easily, I can see. We can punch him, punch him, get him free. Uh, so this is three dice. <laughs> nope. Insane. Um, we might as well follow. It won't make a difference. At least we got the goblin. Didn't matter though. Three dies here as well. No cigar. Here we go, there we can power him. I think that's pointless. We can go here. I'll 1D him. I think that's the play here. You always have to tank those guys. A good coach always uses right player. Right it's good. So now this is just a 2D. So I guess we want to keep you here then. He's gonna have to roll some dice to get out of this. And rolling dice can fail. And the thing is like if he doesn't move up a bit, he, oh my god, he has double skulls again, poor guy. I guess the dice evens out over time with all my 
failed dodges earlier. Uh, so, safe moves first currently. But we don't know where the ball might be. So I think we'll just want to try to hit this guy, right? With as much block as we can. Nice. That's 2D. He can't get there. He can go there. So that should be... 3 dice. There, I guess. Two, three, four, five, seven. Yeah. Nope. Hand is a bad scatter, so the, the gutter runner can get it again. Crap. Oh. Well, he can't get away with it very far with the gutter though, so and he has no good handoff spots. Because this guy's in two tackle zones and he was the only one standing. Kiki to make sure there is no um, tackle turn on the ball, so the uh, gut runner is now free to pick it up with a two plus dodge with reroll. So he made it, and, and then he fails the rush. Okay, so the best, safest thing here is. We have no one that can dodge easily, so we want to hit this guy with block. And then we want to hit this guy, right? One, two, three. Five. One, two. Yes, so this guy wants to go there. didn't work for me either so now he can still get the ball and score unfortunately because I wanted to do this like hitting with block are the safer things to start with and then we could get this guy off with a blitz here and then we could get these guys on the ball but that meant this block would have to work so I think it's now a draw Unfortunately, I think I made the right calls because risking the two plus is like a, a two block, two die blocks with block, which both of these guys were, is safer than the two plus dodge. I think I made the right calls and got punished for it. I guess we have one, two, three. And he gets them, so this guy is also free and it's an break. So, yep. And a KO. Yeah, this is absolutely a draw now. I can't see me stopping him. I mean, I know how to do it, but I don't think it'll work because it means it's going to be too many dice. So, here's the blitz. And he gets him. Yep. Okay. 
so like so that's one way to do it so we need people free So that's the one we have to do now and we might as well try that right if something like this silly is going to work we might as well do one more didn't work but we pushed him away Now he needs both of his rushes to get there. Oh crap. Good. It's up to the dice to decide if he gets to equalize or not, which feels slightly annoying since I was a 2 plus away from scoring twice. Yeah, and he didn't fail. Crap. the ball gotta keep it tight run along the sideline out of sight l screen throw them off their game we're the masters of control Well, so much for that game. I found it, it was interesting, and I was close to winning twice, so I can't be too sad, and I didn't lose anyone. So we'll just have to live with the draw, right? So hats off to my opponent for getting back into it and giving himself a chance, right? And I, like, I, maybe I should have done the two plus door just to secure the ball, but I think the two die blocks with block were safer to start with. So we are now going to move on to uh, someone else for you. Let's see if I'll send you to Dimi, if you're not already watching him as well. And he is actually playing Blood Bowl. So, and three. <laughs> 